That's about Sam. I hope I'm not commentating on the Force of World. This all of Shrek thing is going to be a problem. <laughs> and now he summons a uh, useless card. Hey, there's a skull there. Or a Shrek, strike. yeah. <laughs> And one. F2. Craig, I put the names in and I switched the cameras. Ooh. So. Ah, you get to do life points this game then. Oh, man. <laughs> There's your reward. <laughs> Let's go. They have a separate clock. I guess they're just starting. They have to. Yeah, it is. And say they're seven minutes into the round already. All right. They're I, animals. I know how to put the decks too. All right, Rich is playing Cosmo. All right. Now, should I write attack deck instead? Fire fist. Should I write fire? Yeah, just write fire fist. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got their name. That's a sword Great trooper. Jake Beanie. Oh, that's a pretty neat combo. He's probably going to summon the tin can. Oh. Wait, I thought that they were supposed to get a straw man here. Straw man? Oh, yeah, they are. I think you're correct. Maybe that means he drew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he has All right, does his deck look really, really big to anyone else? His, I feel like his deck just looked like it was not I almost a just standard set of deck. He's rolling a three or four. All right. I'm calling so him sending, now. he's sending uh, three big ships again. Guess that means he got call. Can't see the dice. Oh, he yeah. got a slip. Oh, did he use tin cans effect? Correct. That means he so pays he five, five, right? Yeah. Let's find out what Justin's playing. So. He's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, he, he's playing, uh... Perform a what do you call this guy? Oh, and he's playing Hamster. That's a good card. Oh, <laughs> uh, over there. 40, yes. This, this man opened nice. So, it really I sucks when co the Cosmos are going now with the call and a tin can. So... You guys hear that noise? That is me shuffling. I have a passion for shuffling, actually. It is amazing. World's best pastime. Hey, you heard it here first. Nah, I do like hamster. That card is... I, I don't think it's particularly good right now. Uh, but I think at some point in the future it will be. I mean, it's a level four. If it wasn't Earth, I wanted to play it. <laughs> put it that way. Oh, boy. That doesn't seem like a strong star. Yeah, I didn't think that's what he would do. I thought he might have, like... But he's going to try to bait the slip. <laughs> he said, all right, what the hell does this do? Yeah. Maybe he'll call the Haunt of the Dark Destroyer. Pretty sure he does have false that. He's in three big shit. Do you know what his other uh, set is? Was it Cosmo? I mean, I didn't see either of them, but... I know it's Call. So sure. one. Call makes sense. Um, Oh boy, the suspense, it's killing me. Do I flip the call now? Do I banish the ticket now? Banish the ticket. Oh, he did draw the shaman. Yeah, got the reads. I'm not that great of a Cosmo player. <laughs> did he use straw man effect? Nah, he, it, he attacked it and he banished and someone's throwing. Okay. What's Charmaine's defense? It's 18. big, right? 18. That puppy's big. Yep. That puppy's staying. If you summon that silver claw, that would have been 21. Oh my lord. Nah, the hamster's probably the correct play. What sucks is he drew another hamster, so he can't summon double hamster. I don't know if he plays three lizard or three silver claw. He definitely plays three of one of them. 
So they're probably still their claw. Gotta have weight in them. Those are two high scales. He's probably hoping that his opponent will summon that slip. Oh. He wasn't falling for it. Alright, that also means he probably just doesn't have a low scale. Who? Justin? Yeah. Because, like, or at least not like a not like a vector or master, then, because he definitely would have played that instead. I know he has a hamster in hand. No, he used the hamster. He has two hamsters. Yeah, but he used the other one. He, he played it in the Thunder Blue. Oh, really? Yeah, and the Silver Claw. So he has a Lizard Claw. <laughs> I, I, I played, haven't seen his hand. I thought he played Lizard Silver, but... I think he drew a card off Lizard Draw. Maybe he didn't. Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, I'm just wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's definitely gonna summon the slip here. <laughs> I can only assume. It's funny, because it's like, I think he's wondering if it's gonna go through, and he's thinking, like, do I do this? I'm on stream. But, like, you're going to summon the Slip Rider. Stop wasting time. Savage. <laughs> At least this tournament's going pretty smoothly so far. Round two, eleven twenty. Love to see it. I'd love to see a Chipotle. Is there a Chipotle right There's here? There's a Chipotle right by Gabe's house. Does he live near here? No, he lives in Ann Arbor. <laughs> There's Chipotle by my house again. too. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm also just lying. There's not. It's like 45 minutes away. <laughs> Oh, uh, this dude did open the Cosmo Joe. Cosmo Joe. What's the other? Okay, so Justin, like, most likely doesn't play three Silver Claw. Which is strange. Which really sucks for him. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know. I'm not sure why he normal the hamster on. But. Yeah, the Cosmo guy has game, too. That spicy call of the mm -hmm. If he attacks, yeah, then he will win. Maybe he'll just go pass. This guy eating, sleeving, close. <laughs> oh boy. The roll that doesn't matter. <laughs> I am done sleeping. I, can I think now this play camera is like a mirror image of what is actually happening. I really want to shuffle now. That's what I'm saying. It's just infectious. Alright, I lost track of life points. Anyway. Oh, he has a game. Yeah. It's 8,000, 8,000. <laughs> oh, my boy said. He said, I don't want to see any of that. He said, I read that Cosmo play. Oh, Iron Wall. Is that Jar of Avarice? I'm pretty sure Iron Wall sucks. Like, yeah, I think it does. Uh, you lose to like ten can with strike, you and Iron Wall just does nothing to that unless you already had it. And in which case, it doesn't really do anything to that. <laughs> you can't use your juggler. <laughs> Man, Cordero's really run out of luck today. He lost to Monarch FTK round one, and he plays it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, all right. Well, if he loses, I hope he lets me borrow a strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just pick up the strikes of people who just go O2. That's the idea. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I usually just go take cards from ARG, but they don't even have it for me to take. Did you check over there at that booth? I wonder if they'll let me take cards like ARG lets me take cards. They might. <laughs> Hey man, can I borrow this? I'll bring it back. I had to give Dirk a giant hand. <laughs> I want to see how some mask chameleon in this deck. That card's also bad. I think. 
I don't think it's very good either, but if it were going to be good in any matchup, it'd be good against Cosmo. Yeah, that's definitely true. Maybe he slides up. Marjanko. I, I think I saw Marjanko. him in his main deck like, as soon as he picked it up. Marjanko. You have something else? One, one. One, one. We know those strikes are staying on. That was quick. Did Marjanko win? Yeah. What's he playing? Pendulum? Yeah. Oh boy. Swift. Oh boy. I'm excited to start dueling. Yeah, I am too. I'm really just excited to start shuffling. I don't really <laughs> care about the actual games. <laughs> I just want play to play Spellbook because you get to shuffle so much. Oh, you just search, shuffle, search, shuffle. How do people possibly power shuffle their decks? What kind of enjoyment could you get from that? I always pile shuffle. No, no Come way. On, boy. That's, that's no fun. You gotta get the nice little swiffle going. <sighs> that guy looks like he has a strike he wants to load me. He's called Dante. <laughs> Virgil. I'm sure that guy's never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to play that Beatrice Noyalis thing. I found out this morning you don't discard for Beatrice to send to the grave. I thought you did, and we were testing like you did. <laughs> That's it's so neat. Like you can sign core, add back, should all fusion. There's just so many things that are yeah, cool about cool. it. That does sound cool. Sadly, you can't play it. You want to win. Wendigo is a six. You can make it. Who? Wendigo. Isn't he a six? What's Wendigo? And the wind one. The one that sucks other than being a six. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he just set and passed. And that's really underwhelming. The De the old Dion special. I think he might have a ghost there in his hand. That card does not very that's good. That's a good opening. Deck. I can't. Wait, just in one second. That's oh. surprising. That's incorrect. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> but uh, usually, Ghost Ogre is pretty underwhelming because they could just have like a million cards. Like right now. Yeah, yeah, they could have wavering eyes. They could just have another high scale. They can have so many cards. And it's just not very good. I think that means you might not have another high scale though, because otherwise you probably would have played face off first if you had the other high scale, because you would have bigness to the back row. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Elixir draw. Oh, then he probably just did not do it right. He probably should have yeah, played face off first. Yeah, I don't know why you want to get rid of the back row. <laughs> oh boy, the wavering. Ooh. Wavering eye. Whoa. As, Kel as Keller would say, shout out to Keller. Holy Molly. Wavering eye. He does not mess around. What card was that? I, Twin oh, Twister. so he doesn't have. Uh, could you see the spell? No, yeah, what card was that? I mean, yeah. I don't know, sir. Oh, he would have definitely yeah, used Twin Twister. I don't know, not necessarily. No, so I, don't know, I don't know what his card was. No, he didn't have Wavering Eyes. He played Twin Twister of his own, and he popped Aria. Oh, oh. Is it, I guess it. Uh, Okay. I guess I mean you're right about him having lizard draw, so he's gonna pendulum my back. But I, I thought it. Actually pretty sure he just did this wrong. Like he should have just gone, played a face off to start with. Yep. Normal to Lester, make Ignister, get rid of the back row, then play the scales. You win anyway though. So rewarded. Uh, play as much less whelming. Much le did you say much less whelming? It, it's whelming. <laughs> 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 whelming. He probably has like some dark holes and stuff in his hands. I mean, Richard is not out of the game. Hmm. Dark hole is like particularly bad with hope now. Like, I I never liked that card, but it was kind of like a concession and not finding anything better. Now that card's just terrible. Which card? I never played it. Dark hole. Uh -oh. 
I was I thought about citing one regaku, but I finally just don't even set that anymore. Yeah, it was, it was hope it's just not worth it, you know. What'd you play against? It was he was he was bad. <sighs> no one's bad, they're just Can you ask around for a strike? Uneducated. Can you ask around for a strike? Thank you. <laughs> Someone's got to be O2. My friend right there goes to my school. He's playing the Monarch FTK deck. I wonder what his record is. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we play at locals, though, it's really funny because, like, he'll just do something. Like, he'll go through the whole thing and then just set his cards, and I just cheer as him <laughs> at the end of it, just kill his thing. And one time he thought he'd get really creative and he just said it and he's like, all right, try to go to end phase. So I'd cure as and I was like, okay, that's fine. He's like, I thought you'd cure as. He never even said him so that I would still do it in main phase. Wow, that's, 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 what's, that's what's crazy about that deck. What do you search? Skullcrow bet. Oh, Dark Hole was insane here. <gasps> okay, never mind. Why? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You Why? You strike. Yeah, like... <laughs> I just wanted to show you that I had Dark Hole <laughs> in my deck before I scooped. Because we were playing with the cards that we knew you had can because you, really you searched a, them. Can you really put it past these people, though, no, so like, far today, to maybe just not strike? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. I, Round one, they tried to make King of Fairlumps with Buster Pendle. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and he's like, <laughs> he gave all right, did that. wait. And then his opponent's like, wait, why can't he do it? <laughs> Gabe... He's, he hasn't played at all, and I just gave him a deck to play, uh -huh. and like his luster's foreign and all of his cards are foreign, <laughs> so he like, he didn't know Sork gives you a thousand views, so he had game against Monarchs, and then <laughs> he didn't know you can overlay with luster, and his play was just like strictly better if he didn't overlay with it too. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right. What's your, what's your record? Oh. Do you have a Solemn Strike? Do you have one I could borrow? So I don't even know that guy. <laughs> That's the kid I was talking about. <laughs> okay, cool. Is the chat feisty? Huh? Yeah, what's going on over there? I can now see that far. Uh, Nick Spoof is really uh, tearing <laughs> it up, though. <laughs> so shout out to him. And the card chat. I don't, I don't think that's appropriate now that I am a member of the card guys. <laughs> it's very immature. It's Kyle now. Ah <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Um, Cordero has the match left in his hand. I mean, 2 1. Yo, you should make me mod. <laughs> I wanted to use his strike. No, you know what? It's okay. Monarch FTK can get they can get out of the tournament. It's all right. Well, I don't know. Monarch FTKs need to stay in the tournament. They don't have strikes. They need to be the one knocking uh, the people with the strikes <laughs> out of the tournament. That deck, though. I mean, it, if I don't have a strike, then like I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna be playing much of anything. What are you gonna do if you don't find it? You're just gonna like replace it with. Something? I'll just <laughs> find it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you're not even worried <laughs> huh? about that. <laughs> Not looking good. Nah, I'll figure it out. You still got like 20 minutes. I literally, least. I could not imagine you not being able to get a strike. I have asked people a considerable you. number of people this morning, actually. The fans, they love Pat. I'm always worried about commons. Like, those what? are the scary ones. Like, what? trying to yeah. borrow commons like, that I don't have. Oh, yeah. Those are much more scary. Yeah, that's true. Nope. See? Because no one's going to bring, like, yeah, exactly. a random card. Oh. All right, so and the Cosmo guy obviously chose to go first, but it doesn't look like it panned out too well. It's got it's a straw man from Dark first, Hole. Though. Yeah, yeah, it is. But this is it's it. definitely incorrect to play Cosmo. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like sorry, Fire Fist lovers everywhere. <laughs> well, if anyone plays Cosmo or Monarch or BA or Fan Knight, like that's cool that you guys like the duck, <laughs> but like. You really do just have a 1% chance of winning the event. <laughs> so, like, if you want a top, then you should play it, because it's easy to top, I guess. But if you want to win, I would definitely play the best deck every time. 
That's my two cents. Why are you playing hamster? <laughs> that is actually just wrong. <laughs> nah, I like hamster a lot. It's a really good card. It's just not it's broken. good my right now. I have the best duck. <laughs> and then Vegas, I had the best duck, but don't pan out really? well. I had the best taxi driver in Vegas. I'm saying you're not going to show up. Why is a silver claw on a grave? He has some panel on something or anything. Why is a silver claw on a grave? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying that much attention. Oh, he diamond out here. No oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That card's broken. Yes, oh, that is out. Tommy Rowe talking. This is actually my alt talking. Did that make people mad? No. Mike's a real enthusiast of the Cosmo deck, so I have to have a real debate with him all the time. <laughs> yeah, he does. They're like two Cosmo cards it. that do anything. <laughs> ah, three Cosmo Joe. That one's good. I like that one. There's still a trap. Yeah, like, that's what I was about to say. It's one of the better traps, but it's still a trap. Doesn't target. Yeah, that card's broken, but. Cosmo have like a nine card deck, I'm pretty sure. Like, if it's not a tin can, Dark Destroyer, or Cosmojo, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah. Nah, they have a 12 card deck. They have Solemn Strike, unlike me. Hey, Blair from the <laughs> card, guys. Said, what's up, Tommy? Hey, Blair, can what's, I borrow a strike? What's up, Blair? <laughs> what's good, fam? Oh, Lure Target. I should probably say, like, Tommy Rowe from the card guys every time I speak now. <laughs> Refer to myself on the third person. Tommy Rowe from the card guys isn't sure what he wants to have for lunch today. Huh? Mm. I saw Dirk. Do you have a solid strike? Really bad. Oh, oh yes. Oh Thank you. <laughs> the sack. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, much appreciated. The face off the hoe. So he's about to block some attack. Right? That's insurance. Thank you. <laughs> Worked. <laughs> How'd it go? What'd you play again? Huh? See if that card had been common and no like way. some unplayed card. Yeah. We couldn't we couldn't bank on people going to two. And just having it. That new vector card seems sure. pretty cool. What new vector card? What is it? The ritual one. I forget what it does, but <laughs> he I said I didn't like it. I remember reading it and liking it. I remember someone told me what it. Does. I have a lot of cards like that where I'm just like, man. When it comes out, I'll re I'll, I'll, I'll know back. that I liked it. All right, so he got. Oh, this is broken. You turtle lose a draw. I don't know if you didn't already have a high or a low scale here. I don't know All right, Blair know. mailed his. He mailed his strike. It's too late. So <laughs> it's too late, Blair. Much appreciated. Get Ariana. Well, that's a lot of good action. I thought that is a solid reminder why Cosmo is very underwhelming. <laughs> Look at all those extra deck cards. They have a 13 card deck. You can go ahead, th go ahead and throw a warning in too. If it's not Dark Destroyer, warning, strike, Cosmo, or Ten Can. It doesn't do it. 13 card deck. At least they get to mulligan. <laughs> to get to the 13. <laughs> Lucky yeah. number. They always mulligan those cards though. The dark destroyer. Oh. I think Richard's just being a good sport here. He's just trying to give you guys a show. That's savage. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's, he is gonna scoop here in a moment. Hey, you still got the future cam over there? <laughs> nah, this is uh, this is a sick read. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh boy, what a match. Look at that. All oh, right. What a match. And they started watching, guys. See you later. That lasted like under 20 minutes. That was great. All right, Tom. I have found my strike. Out. I am good to go. Um. Oh, everybody should buy my book. <laughs> it was supposed to be here this weekend, but Jim took forever to order it. Oh, let me tell you this story while I'm on the mic for a second. So. Jim was supposed to order my book and I messaged him about it.